Okay, everybody, welcome to day 12. We are going to be doing some squats, push-ups, lunges, and lawn mowers. So I'm going to be using my 44-pound kettlebell for squats, and then I have 25-pound dumbbells for my lunges, and then I'll use one for the lawnmower. Um, our cardio is going to be mountain climbers, and core is going to be boat. So I'll run us through everything. Let's just kind of go body weight for our warm-up, and then we'll get going. So for our 30 seconds, we'll hold. I'm just going to hold my bell between the legs, really focusing on glutes, not worrying too much about holding that goblet squat. But if you want to hold your goblet squat, go for it. Our mountain climber, make sure that you start with your plank, shoulders right over the wrist, and then you can run your knees as quickly or as slowly as you want. And if a plank doesn't work for you, you can just do a run in place or like a vertical mountain climber. And then a boat is going to be where you find your balance kind of just right on your tailbone, right on your booty. Bring your legs up, flex your feet, see if you can get your shins parallel to the ground. And then you just hold your hands right up in front, focusing on that flexion through the belly. From there, we'll get our push-ups. If a push-up doesn't work for you, you can uh, use the wall, or you can grab a set of dumbbells and do a chest press from the floor. So you lay on the ground and go here. Just a nice little chest press, still getting into that chest. If you have a TRX, um, you know what that is. You can use that for your push-ups as well. We'll hit our mountain climbers and our boat. Then we'll go lunges. We're going to stay all 30 seconds on one side and all 30 seconds on the other. So you'll square off your hips. Hold those weights if you choose. You can also go body weight. Make sure you line that front knee on top of the heel. We'll do our mountain climbers. We'll do our boat. We'll do the other leg. We'll do our mountain climbers. We'll do our boat. And then we're going to hit uh, lawn mowers. So we'll grab one of the weights, take your lunge stance again. Elbow's going to pull right next to your rib cage. This is for the back. Super important to keep that back strong and healthy. We'll do our mountain climbers and our boat, and then we'll hit the other side. And then we only have to go through two rounds. So let's get um, make sure that we're nice and warmed up, and then we'll go from there. So plant into your hands. Slide your hips up and back. We'll do a downward facing dog here. Roll your ankle and then the other. Kind of just plant into one foot and then the other. Perfect. And then drop onto your knees. Keep your toes pulled under. We're going to be using those feet a lot today with our mountain climbers. So stretch them. Bring your right arm up and over. And then down. Left arm up and over. And down. One more time each side. Perfect. All right. Plant onto your hands and knees. We'll go some cat cow. Inhale, push your chest forward. Exhale, round your back. Two more, and then we're going to go straight into those squats. And three. Actively pull that belly in, round through the back. All right, curl those toes under. We'll come on up. I'm going to get our timer ready to go, and we're going to go straight into our first set of squats. So whether you want to do body weight or hold weight, it's really up to you. But challenge yourself. All right, 30 seconds of work. Ready, set, and go. Set your feet just outside your hips. Drop deep into your squat, and make sure that the knees line with the toes. So drive through those heels. Belly strong. Chest is up. You work the pace that you want. So since we're on a timer, you get to go as many reps as you can fit into your 30 seconds. And time. All right. 50 or 15 second break. Get my numbers right. And then we're going to go into our mountain climber. Or remember, you can do your standing march or high knees. Ready and go. First one, if you need to warm into it a little bit, that's fine. 
belly strong. Lengthen through the back. Slide those shoulder blades down. So we want to get our heart rate up in our mountain climbers. When you get that core to activate. Time. Little stretch. All right, so far so good. Nice start. Get ready for your boat. You can kind of grab behind your thighs if you'd like. Find that balance. Scoop the belly. Pull that belly button in. And you're finding that little bit of imbalance to force your core to have to do more work. Tuck that chin. Flex your belly. Tighten deep. You've got it. You've got it. Hold strong. Time. All right. Back over. We're going to hit up our push-ups. So if you want a little wider push-up, that's fine. Those sometimes are easier. Or you can just hit your standard push-up. Belly holds strong. Here we go. You go as deep as you can. Keeping the core locked. So your hips drop and rise with your shoulders. Time. All right. Take a little stretch. Maybe a down dog. We're going to hit our mountain climbers next. Three, two, and go. Find that plank position and then run those knees. Tighten through the belly. Grip into those hands. Watch that your shoulders stay over the wrist. Time. Whew. I think those are going to add up fast. All right, find your boat position and go. Tuck through that belly. We want to find core contraction. You've got it. This is one of those times that we want to find a lot of self flexion. Build that core by flexing deep all on your own. And then you find whew, time, the extra little bit by holding that position. Okay, we're gonna set up for our lunges. Three, two, and one. So we're gonna hit all on one side and then all on the other. Really focus on driving through your front heel. We wanna build the glute and hamstring on the front side. Chest is up, shoulder blades squeeze together. You got it. And time. Okay, coming up, we have our mountain climbers. Press really evenly into that thumb and first finger. Spread those fingertips out. Run those knees in. Shoulders up over the wrist. Time. Mountain climbers definitely add up for me. 
All right, you're up for your boat. Here we go. You find that core flexion. There's a little bit of a round in your back so that you can tuck that belly in deep. You got it. Hold strong. My boat's kind of rocking a little. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Come on up. And we get our second side on that lunge. Ready, set, and go. Use that core. Drive through the front heel. Sit into the weight that you chose to hold. And if it's body weight, still you can flex into it. Feel the heat in that gluten thigh. You got it. And time. <sighs> All right. Enjoy your little break. And then we're going to go mountain climbers. Three two, and go. stretch okay gear up for your boat get that core involved all done tighten deep tighten deep flex in Get that belly to burn. That's your whole goal. Time. Woo. Okay. Lawn mowers are next. 10 seconds. You're going to set up like you're going to do a lunge again. So if your right leg is back, right arm holds the weight. Lengthen your elbow away from the shoulder hips are squared off core is super strong belly firm elbow pulls right next to your rib cage three two and one back to those Lovely mountain climbers. <sighs> Ready, set, and go. down we have our boat get your positioning find that scoop in the belly here we go you're doing great stick with it Remember what you came in 
wanting to build, wanting to work on. Ugh. It's always something. Always something. Definitely for me. Somewhere I want to try and improve, build strength. All right. Get into that lat on your other side. It's a side, kind of back, side of your back, lower to mid, behind your armpit, underneath your scapula. Keep both shoulder blades pushed down. So check in that you're not collapsing. There's our time. Into the arm that's on the thigh. <sighs> Mountain climbers, we got it. Ready, set, and go. Come on, keep your pace. Three, two, one. Okay, we get our boat. And then we're back to the top. Ready for some more squats. Here we go. Set it in. Find that sweet spot. We got it. Stay strong. It's okay if the boat rocks. Just don't let it sink. Time. Whew. All right. Come on up. Take a couple standing cat cows. And then we'll be ready for our second round. Starting off with squats. And go. Definitely warmed up now, so go for pace. Sit into it. Feel like you're screwing your heels into the ground. Sit your hips back and use your glutes to drive up. Time. Whew. All right, bring on those mountain climbers. Three, two, and go. Watch your shoulders. Make sure they stay over those wrists. Three, two, and one. <sighs> okay, turn it over. Flex your belly, scoop in, find that boat. Train the core to be able to get really big contractions. <sighs> Tighten it in deeper. Make it work for you. <sighs> oh, time. Ooh, okay, push-ups are next. <sighs> Rotate through those wrists. We've definitely been on them with our mountain climbers. So make sure they're ready for your push-ups. Go. <sighs> Try 
try to keep your head still so you're not nodding it up and down. Time. It's kind of fun to feel that core heat up in those push-ups too. We've got a lot of it going on today between, oh wait, mountain climbers. Woo. Almost forgot. Got a lot of it going on today between our mountain climbers, those push-ups, our boat. Seven seconds. Time. Now we get our boat. Whew. Ready? Find your boat. Go. Okay, next up we'll have our first side on the lunges. Stay engaged here for now though. Time. Whew. All right, I don't know about for you. For me, it takes a little while to get my lunge set up. So let's go ahead, get into it, find your balance, and go. Lean over that front leg just a little. Lots of hip hinge. Try to drop straight down, straight up in your hips. Both knees straight ahead. Dig deep, three, two, and one. All right. Mountain climbers. Three, two, and go. Mine are definitely getting a little slower. Come on, seven seconds. Time. All right, turn it over. We have our boat. Go. Squeeze through that core. Focus deeper. Especially every time you exhale, you can get a little deeper contraction. Time. Okay, set up for your lunge. Other side. Ready, and go. Find how to dial in to that front leg. Where's your belly? Keep it strong. Chest is up. Come on, keep charging. Push your intensity. Time. All right. We're going to be on those mountain climbers, as you know. Three, two, and go.
mentally connect. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, lift it over. Get into your boat. Push your shoulders down still. Space between ears and shoulders. Find that core. Whew. Okay, come up. We're gonna hit up our lawn mowers. So get that lunge stance. One elbow on your knee. Pull the other. Small little twist in the mid back. Focus on your flexion into the back. Five seconds. Time. Two rounds left. Those wonderful mountain climbers. Ready and go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. I wanted to stop so bad in that one. <laughs> Woo. All right. Last minute and a half. Here we go. Square off the hips. Keep them square. Rotate just a teeny bit. Upper middle back. Tighten the belly. Focus that back. Focus. Three, two, and one. Okay, I forgot our boat. I always forget something. Okay, boat, mountain climber. Boat, mountain climber. We're gonna have to make it up. Here you go. Technically, we should be in our boat right now. So we'll stick with it. Flex deep, flex deep. Hug in tight. Tighter, come on. Time. Okay, now we have to go back and pick up the mountain climber that we missed. Ready, set, and go. This is it. Come on, get what you came for. Stay in it. We're over halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Time. All right. Now, our last boat. We're back on track. <sighs> Ready, set, and go. I know you're tired. 
these times, so make it the best one. You have to mentally connect. Don't get sloppy. Don't relax. Nobody knows how hard you're working but you. <clears throat> so you set it in. You mentally connect. Ugh. Time. Woo. Well done. All right. Let's get a little stretch. We're going to get our hip flexors for sure. All those mountain climbers. Bring your right leg forward. Sit up nice and tall. Tuck your hips and just push your low back forward until you feel that hip flexor stretch on the left side. Whew. Keep driving your intensity these next three days because next week is an entire recovery week. So our intensity level is gonna drop. We're gonna give our body time to really replenish. Okay, extend your leg forward, toes come up. Reach your hip back, or pull your hip back and reach your chest forward. Don't worry about your range. Worry about where you're getting the stretch. So sometimes that means shifting a bit. So maybe upper calf behind that knee into the hamstring. The more you pull your hip back and pull the chest forward, like up and back, the hip up and back, not down and back, the more you'll get the right spot. All right, bring your body back forward one more time. Just a little lower stretch. So I'm excited to hit that recovery week because then I have all sorts of fun ideas for our next formatting pattern, right? So we're gonna end up hitting another three weeks of the same format, just like we did with this one. All right, bring your leg forward, tuck the hips under, and then push, push in just a bit. <clears throat> it is really good though to kind of take note how your body is responding to different types of exercise, interval training, whether you hit a workout daily every other day, how you pattern your heavy days, your cardio days. All right, straighten the front leg, toe comes up, pull the chest forward as you pull that left hip back. I hope you're still getting your greens, colorful vegetables. Such a great time of year to get it. Lots of raw fruits and vegetables, hinge forward, but have a variety. So too much of one thing, actually, even vegetables and fruits, actually does become toxic. So vary, vary your greens, vary your veggies, try new things, try different methods of cooking for the summer. I really like to blanch my veggies, asparagus, green beans, broccoli. It's just a super quick little steam. Throw it in ice water so it stops cooking. It still has a crunch, but it's not completely raw. Okay, sit on your heels. And I actually, I like it cold. <laughs> Summertime cold, it's good. All right, pull soles of your feet together. Grab around your toes. Uh, lift nice and high. <sighs> Try to relax your knees down. And then if it feels good for you, just slowly hinge forward. Kind of dig your elbows into the knees, into those inner thighs. All 
All right. Fantastic job, everybody. As always, it's awesome to work with you. And uh, I'll see you back tomorrow, day 13.